Hello guys, Lifehackster here and today we are going to review and test out the Weiss Video Doorbell V2. And this is the second version of Weiss's Wired Doorbell. Thank you Weiss for sending me this doorbell to be reviewed. Alright, as you saw in the thumbnail, this has local storage. But Weiss conveniently designed it that anybody has access to the micro SD card. And I'll share my thoughts later on, but it is not as bad as you think, especially if you have cloud subscription. This video doorbell records in 2K quality, 2048 by 1536 pixel resolution at 20 frames per second in daytime and at 15 FPS in infrared night vision and has a 135 degree horizontal and 103 degree vertical field views. It does have a starlight sensor which you will get color night vision if you have some lighting at night. This doorbell connects to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. This needs to be wired in and designed to use your existing doorbell chime. 16 to 24 volts AC. And because it is wired, it can record 24 7 to a micro SD card inserted on the camera itself and compatible up to a 256 gigabyte card. If you don't want 24 7 recording, it also can record motion events only and it does have a 3 to 6 seconds of pre recording. Now, because of local micro SD card recording, you can use this doorbell without the Cam Plus subscription. You will just not get AI notifications, plus, there is a 5 minute notification cool off. To get all the features of this doorbell, you will need a subscription which starts at 3 bucks a month per camera or 20 bucks a year or 10 bucks a month or $100 a year for unlimited wise cameras. This has a motion warning option that will play when it detects people. This is IP65 weather resistant and compatible with Google Assistant and Amazon Alex A. Inside the box, you will get the Chime controller which has 3 wires. With other brands, there are normally only 2 wires. We need to install this in our Chime box. We have the doorbell itself, camera lens, mic, doorbell button, ring status light, and speaker in the bottom. On the side, we have a rubber flap that covers the micro SD card slot. This should be on the back. And on the back, we have the setup button and two terminal screws. We have a flimsy plastic wall plate and it also comes with a 30 degree angled wedge. We have some mounting screws, wire nuts, extension wires, and plastic anchors. Time to install this, which we need to install the Chime controller first. Turn off power to your doorbell, open up your Chime box. Unscrew the front terminal wire and connect it to the black wire of the Chime controller using the wire nut. And connect the white wire to the front terminal. Now connect the red wire to the trans or transformer terminal. And because this controller is a bit bulky, it cannot be placed inside a Chime box, so I'll just stick it outside. Go to your doorbell and screw in the wall plate using the two included screws. And screw in your doorbell wires on either terminals on the back of the doorbell. Tuck in the wires, align the doorbell slots on the corresponding tabs of the wall plate, push and pull down until it locks in place. Let's set this up. Turn on power to your doorbell. Open up the WISE app, click the plus sign, add device, cameras, scroll down, WISE doorbell version 2, and I've already done this so I'll just browse through it. And status light is flashing orange. And I do have to push the setup button so I have to unmount the doorbell which you just need to push and pull up. And I'll also talk more about this later on. Push the setup button, click I heard ready to connect. Select your Wi-Fi which it will generate a QR code that you need to show the doorbell and wait until it is connected. Let's check these settings in the app. When you open up the app, you will see the snapshot from the doorbell. Click on it to get to live view which loads up pretty quick. In here, we have the SD card and it will show the recordings in a timeline. And as you can see that I've set it to record 24-7. You can take a snapshot or record the live view and we have responses. Can I help you with something? I'll be at the door shortly. Hello, please leave the package by the door. Also here we have the night vision modes, start to way talk which is full duplex, and here in the bottom are recent events. Click the gear icon for the doorbell settings, detection settings, motion sensitivity, low to high. We have detection zones and it is a grid type and take note of the grayed out areas and I'll talk more about this later. Motion tagging, motion warning, when it detects a person you can have it play the Y stone or this message. Hi, you are currently being recorded. This doorbell can also detect sounds and you can adjust the sensitivity here. We have event recordings and I have the subscription so I can set the AI recordings. And this is the same in the notifications. You can have it record but not notify you. 
On the advanced settings, this is where you can set 24-7 recordings to the micro SD card or motion events only, night vision mode, and all these other options. As to the chime, I chose mechanical in my setup. Now time to do some testing. So this is the video quality of the wife video doorbell version 2. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is the video quality of the Wise Video Doorbell version 2 at night. No lights and it's infrared LEDs that are on and I could barely see them. I think there are six of them. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is the video quality of the Weiss Video Doorbell version 2 at night. And this with my transport light, 60 watts. And this has a starlight uh, sensor. So this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. We are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Weiss Video Doorbell version 2. And uh, I'm on my 5G cellular network and it is 1035. So let's check it out. Status light is blinking. So it has detected me. And we're just going to wait for the notification. Cool. When you press and hold, you'll see the snapshot. And when you click on it, it should open up the live view. It loads up pretty quick. Cool. 1036. All right, so it's still 1036. We'll just see what the notification cool off of the Wise Video Doorbell version 2. And yes, yeah, status light is blinking and that's, that's quicker. Cool. There's barely any notification cool off. All right, now this time we're going to test the doorbell push to notification speed. All right, that pretty quick. And loads up the live view. Cool. Uh, yes, can I help you? It's live pastor here. Uh, yes, can I help you? Is Life Hackster here? Uh, sorry, he's not here right now. Uh, you want to leave a message? It's okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, sorry, he's not here right now. Uh, you want to leave a message? It's okay. Thank you. Is Life Hackster here? It's okay. Thank you. Yes, can I help you? Uh, no, I I couldn't hear you. Are you hearing me okay? Uh, no, that doesn't work. So what do you think? Video quality is decent and its field of view is way better than the version 1 of this doorbell. It is not as wide as other brands though. As to performance, person detection is pretty spot on but not really in vehicle detection. I added motion zones, but I still get notifications of cars passing by our street that I eventually turned off vehicle detection. Package detection is also a hit or miss. Its vertical field of view is still not enough to see the bottom area of our front door. As to two-way talk, aside from not recording the phone side of the conversation, when I turned on doorbell press notifications in the Alexei app, the two-way audio breaks up and is not clear. Uh, sorry, he's not here right now. Uh, you want to leave a message? Uh, sorry, he's not here right now. Uh, you leave a message. 
I did add this to the Google Home, but it just says that the doorbell is offline. All right, now I'm not sure what Wise or whoever designed this was thinking when they added the micro SD card slot on the side of the doorbell and just covered it with a rubber flap. They should have at least placed it on the back so it is not accessible. Now, if you are subscribed to their cloud recordings, this is not a biggie because your event recordings are still in the cloud even when someone removes the micro SD card. But if you don't have a subscription, then you have to find a way to secure this. Well, WISE didn't really design this doorbell to be secured because with a proper sequence of movements, you can easily remove the doorbell from its wall plate without needing any tools. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.